Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome to UCTV, my name is Khalil Mohammed. We're going to be showing you how to do some very easy drawings using Inkscape, which is a vector drawing package. You can download it very simply. We've got a bunch of different type items and different uh, objects that we've, uh, we're going to show you how to draw. Uh, so stay tuned to UCTV and check out some of my tutorials. Our very short videos here are uh, during the coronavirus lockdown. Hope everyone has been keeping safe out there and observing all of the usual safety protocols. Right, as you can see, uh, we've got a rocket here, and I was thinking of drawing this little rocket. Um, yeah, why not? Um, yeah, it looks pretty straightforward. So let's get down to business. The first thing I'm going to do is click on it, and I'm going to bring it down as usual to about seventy percent, so it's not too uh, bright. Let's go over here and grab that uh, Bezier tool. Let's just do the whole of the outside of the body like this. Again, just clicking on the main spots. In, in point of fact, I'm just going to click on three points for this one. And then I'm going to drag these sides out to match the coive of the curve. That is the curve of the, uh, the rocket. I'm just going to grab this bit here and just match that curve of that rocket you see uh you don't have to make those nodule things that we've been making recently you don't have to always you can just grab them sides grab the sides and there it is pretty much yeah that's pretty much it let's do these fins i think they're fins one two i'm gonna make a few more selections here for this one because i want it's quite curvy so let's zoom in a tad, click on, holding down the control key, click on that point, boom, automatically goes round. Click on this point here, boom, it goes round. Now here, now I could click on these two points, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to grab this for now and just position them to look as if they're just the tail end of that fin or whatever it is, without having to click on it. Now I'm thinking that looks pretty cool. So what we should do is just click Control D, which will copy it exactly as it is. Oopsie daisy, grab the wrong thing, grab hold of it, and let's flip it because we might as well just use the same one in it. Just gonna double click on it and you'll see, if I just click on it one more time, you'll see these round things here. So you can actually use it to, to rotate it. So we just need to rotate it so it fits that sh shape. And I, I assume that it is a mirror shape of the same of the other side. And it looks like it pretty much is. Yeah, it could be a little bit bigger, but that's fine. All right, that's cool. Cool. Let's zoom out again. Let's go to the easy bit. These round bits here. That, they look totally round to me. So I'm going to just grab the uh, control the, the the alt button the shift button excuse me and drag out that circle um uh, to fit that size let's make it a color that we can see for now okay okay uh let's get rid of the fill put the outline back on yeah we're going to click control d again hold down shift and we're going to make another circle boom so we've got two circles there then we're going to Control D, this one, we're going to make these round circles. Hold down the shift. When you hold down the shift, it keeps your circle or a square, if you're making a square, it keeps it in true proportion. So it's not going to be a wibbly wobbly circle. It will be a true circle. That looks, that one looks pretty much the same size as well. Right. I just remembered, I just realized that there's a third fin here. I did the two ones on the side, but I didn't do the one in the center here. So let's subscribe our Bezier tool. We're going to treat this like a rectangle by just clicking on those corners. And similar to what we did with this corner down here, we're going to just grab the center and just pull it up like that. And grab those handles and just make them, make that curve f fall smoothly into the body of that fin. We're going to do the same thing for the bottom bit here. Go down, zoom in. It's going to grab the center. Click on it a few times, and we're just gonna grab those handles and just get them to try and fit the size that we want. Boom! There you go. Pretty straightforward. Okay, this is a pretty easy one so far. Okay, let's do this bit here, which is the uh, the tail end of the rocket. Let's just put a basic triangle in there. 
Okay, I don't think it needs much more than that. Then we're going to do the fire coming out again. We're always going to be using this tool. So we're going to click on it. The highest and lowest point. So that's about the highest point. There. There. I'd say about here somewhere. Here. 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 Highest point, lowest point. Highest point, lowest point. Highest point. That's another highest point. Then I'm going to click on here and go back to here. So it goes red. When it goes red, you know it's going to complete the shape click on that one there click on that one there now I have been if you have been following me you'll know how to do this now you should be able to uh, begin to get the feel of how to make these straight squares straight, straight corners curvy now okay I'm gonna click on that one to make it round pretty much it let's do the same thing for the one on the inside the highest point to the point, the highest point to the point of say about here, here, here. That, that line looks almost quite straight. Here, here, and then here. Then we're going to go in again. Click on there. Click on that. Look at that. Almost went exactly to the shape that we wanted it, which is pretty cool. Click on that. And we're going to click on this one. This line here looks kind of straight, but I'm going to just curve it a little bit. It's a natural fire shape, so there's nothing about it that's going to be artificially straight. So we're going to make that that line curvy, even though from basically what I can see here, it looks curvy. It looks straight, but I don't think it is straight. Let's do the last one on the inside. Here, 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 and here. Telling you, once you get used to doing this, you will be able to feel it out a lot quicker. Of course, we had a special guest a couple of sessions back where we had Zaka, she came on board and uh, she had to draw, uh, first first of all she started with some basic shapes and then she had to do a superman -ish. and I think she did very well, So, uh, but I think she began to appreciate how difficult it can be sometimes when you see somebody do something like this, you think, oh well I could do that, but to actually do it is a whole different ball game. Right, so I think we've done everything except for these stripes, okay let's put these stripes in for this rocket. And uh, as I'm getting closer, I can see that we haven't actually matched the shape entirely right. So we can just grab that like that and push it out a little bit. Again, we don't, we're not copying it. We're not trying to do a clone of it. We're just trying to copy it close enough. So it doesn't really matter if it wasn't exactly right. We're going to click on the edge of here. 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 And here. Then we're going to go back to here so it goes red. Boom. And of course, we're going to click on the corner there click on the corner there and it's pretty much falling into that same shape of course we have to make sure that the edges where it touches the rocket itself is going to be curved as well same thing for down here because when we get rid of those lines obviously you're going to be able to see where those shapes stop and they have to stop exactly on the same line where the rocket stops now i could copy that square uh, that that shape and bring it down should i do that might as well so just going to copy it control d Grab it and bring it down to about there. Obviously, it's gonna. It's, this one is thicker. The actual one is thicker. So we're just gonna click on that shape, the corner there, and bring it to the edge. Grab that corner there, bring it to that edge there. Grab the center and bring it down. Now again, we have to make sure. See, look at that. We have to look at the the point where the stripe is touching the edge of the rocket. We have to make sure it matches up because, as I said, once we get rid of these black lines. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna see there's gonna be a gap there, and that can't we can't leave that, okay? So we might as well try and do as best as we can now and just clean it up a little bit, okay? Just a little bit like that. Oopsie daisy. See that move because it was still selected. So I'm gonna grab that, move that there. Right, let's zoom out, see what we've done. Do do do. Right. I think that's it. We've done everything. Obviously, the, the only thing that remains to be done is put the color in. Let me grab the, the image at the back, put it to one side, and let's bring it back to 100%. It's on 86, 68%. Bring it back to 100%. Okay. So what we can do from here now, now we should, I would love to go in to do the colors to this because it's got some lovely colors on it. But for now, we're just going to do the body of the rocket in a flat, that flat red shape. Boom. Yeah, that flat red shape. Now this, these stripes, obviously they've got these kind of uh, reflections on it. And we're not going to do that just yet. We're gonna, just going to do the basic colors. So obviously that's pretty much white. So we can just click on the white there. 
and we could do the same for this one. We can go down here and grab the white from here as well. It's the same white. Let's grab these fins. Let's grab both fin, all the fins together by holding down the shift key and grabbing your object and clicking the, the white space on your tablet here on the palette. And that one is supposed to be on top of that white stripe. So we're going to bring it to the front like this. This fin is meant to be behind. So we're going to push it to the back like that. That's supposed to be behind as well. We're going to push that to the back there as well. Right. Let's look at, so, okay. These fins are meant to be red. So I'm going to click those fins again. And I'm going to click this red. I'm going to click a slightly different red. The reason why I'm click, clicking a different red as opposed to this red, because if I click the same red, once I get rid of the red, the black lines, that red is going to disappear. That fin is going to disappear, isn't it? So we, to distinguish it a little bit, we've made it a slightly different red shape. Right. Let's do the flames now. Let's do the inside flame, which is yellow. We can go here and grab that yellow. Second one is red. Grab this red down here. And the outer one is yellow. Right. And that, the bit of that rocket there, let's grab that. It's kind of like a gray shade, gray shade of uh, black. So we're going to grab that. Okay. There's a slight problem here. You can see all this fire is above th that uh, part of the rocket. So what we need to do is grab the inner fire, the middle fire, and the last fire and drop it all the way to the back. So it's behind that. Okay, another thing, last thing we need to do is grab those circles. Though I, I presume they're windows. There's three windows. See, the one's been lost behind there as well. And that's going to bring it to the front like this. And we're going to color it the, that same blue that is on here like this. Bada bing. And let's go to this one here. Let's just grab that to the, here so we can see it. Bring that to the front. Okay, this one. So the middle one is the same kind of blue. Let's grab the eyedropper and just select that blue. And the outer one is obviously white. We can just grab that there. Okay, whoopsie daisy. But it's above it, so we need to drop it to the back. And there it is. Okay. So what we're going to do now, we've still got all the black outlines. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the entire rocket like this. So that everything is selected. Go over here to the stroke. We've got the stroke and fill uh, tool here, menu. I'm going to click on the X so that all of the outlines disappear. Okay. So that's basically what it is. Let's just compare the two, put this one to the back. So you can see we've got a great place to start coloring it in. Okay. Now I think uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw this session to a close. The next session, we're going to color it in because I really love the way they've colored this, this rocket in. It's such a vibrant and it's such a kid friendly image. I think we should definitely go a step further and begin to color it in together. Okay. So make sure you stay tuned for our ninth uh short tutorial here on social media while we're all in a lockdown and we'll see how we get up with the color guys thanks once again for watching our tutorials make sure you share and like and if there's anything you want us to draw oops today is there anything you'd like us to draw be sure to let us know inshallah all right guys take care see you soon assalamu alaikum